At burlesque shows, it's kind of the opposite. We want you to hoot, holler, scream, yell, whistle, heckle, and all that, all of that good shit. I like to call it going ape shit as much as possible toward us, because the more love that you give us, the more love we give you, vice versa, That's the way it works. So, shall we, shall we try it? You know, almost every performer and every burlesque piece will have a prop of some sort. Um, and that makes the undressing more entertaining. The prop makes the burlesquing um, more fun because how are they going to handle this prop and tell a story and um, strip and tease and add humor or add sensuality? It's a tease. Yeah, basically that's what it comes down to. It is stripping. But um, it's, there's more to it. It's, it's a full-on show, and you're completely in charge of it. Burlesque has taken humor and um, heightened animation, heightened storyline, um, very easy narrative, and uh, the talent of engaging with the audience. And burlesque there's no shame. Like, you, you can just do whatever you'd like. And I think Lady Red Moonshine, my character, just, you know, owned it. <laughs> you know, owned that sort of darker, sensual side that maybe you can't, that's the face that you can't put on in your everyday situation. The muse loves uh, to have her eyebrows denoted uh, with dots or sequins. Um, she always wears a bindi, which is a third eye marker. I don't really feel fully uh, the muse unless that is, <laughs> that is going on. Um, and then any kind of head decorations, I'm always um, like really big into head ornamentation. So I think there's something very, uh, very spiritual about marking or highlighting this part of the body, the head. For burlesque, I mean, the costume is everything. If you have to be able to get in and out of it. Um, creating costumes for burlesque is, is unlike anything else because you have to consider if it's flattering to your body, if it's, if it's telling the story in the correct way. How because you literally recognize a part of yourself that existed that maybe you hadn't seen before. And so I've found personally that I've, I've kind of relaxed into, you know, being okay about women's sexuality and being central in, in, in the situation like that. It's not so much the character affecting you as empowering you. Typical burlesque performances, it's, it's one solo performance and it is all that performer's performance. The concept is hers, the costume is hers. The music she's picked out, is, the way she does her makeup is, is picked out by her. Everything is in and of her, so for her to be able to don all that and get up on stage and perform the routine and strip down and do a sexy and just feel the energy of the audience coming back at her to be able to stand up there and do that and say, look at me, you know, awesome, I'm awesome, I like all my flaws and all my perfections. And I went up there and I did that and it felt fucking beautiful. And for me at all, it's all about like, look at me, I'm out there. Look at it. You know, it's more like, this is me. And um, you can like it, you hate it. I'm going to give you all of it. And um, I'm going to have fun doing it.
Burlesque is, it's really just sort of a fun way to express yourself to me. Whether you be a man or a woman, whether you take your clothes off or not, um, there's an element of the tease, there's a um, personal sort of style and touch to everybody's different performances, and it's really just a way to empower and express um, the parts of you that you might not get to every day. It's storytelling, and it's um, when it comes to girls coming out, oftentimes it is the art of the tease. You, you are portraying a character. You are revealing, if you are revealing in your routine, you are revealing using these pieces to hide and then show. And it all has to go together. You know, you're, you're telling a story. As a culture, embrace more than sexuality. Sexuality is an important part of it, and sensuality. But if you don't, but it's really important to bring in the element of satire and comedy and parody. And that's part of the definition of the word burlesque in the medieval Italian. Literally means satire. It was always uh, a, a proletariat art form that people used to make fun of. show the performances just will not be as par but when you've got an audience there that is yelling and screaming and going wild and is utterly attentive your energy goes through the roof and magic starts happening on the stage so it's definitely based on that. try to take what's awkward and embrace it and let the audience embrace it as well <laughs> we need the noise the noise even though we've got our own soundtrack we feed off of the audience because um, we are performing for them. We want them to show us love and we will show it right back. And I don't know, it's just an energy thing. You gotta have the stage presence. You have to be able to go up there and command your audience and do your routine to perfection and you know, have the know-how to accomplish what you want to set out to do. stupid and I would never do it again um, and actually found a group of incredible women that I enjoyed spending time with and a, a sort of a hobby that again let me sort of bring out my creative side. Um, I got to perform again. I used to do musical theater and I loved it and then sort of lost all those aspects. So it kind of gave me a little extra something that I was looking for which is why I continued to do it. When I got into it I felt like I was in over my head at first. It's a lot of work. It's almost a second job, especially the producing. But work as a community, and I think that's the most important thing. Uh, burlesque is hard work, but we're all in it together, so we help each other out. And champagne, the official drink for burlesque. I, I just think it's, you know, it's bubbly, it's upbeat, it's a throwback to the 1920s, uh, growing 20s lifestyle. Um, champagne is the best thing to toast with. There's usually a toast before or after the show. Anything smart we will do. I think burlesque is a celebration. You guys had a good time tonight. Let's scream as loud as we fucking can. You guys had a good time.